Yo, yo, it's Christos here, and I have with me, with a new interview, uh, the great interior designer, uh, Kyriakos Trikaliotis. So Kyriakos is a Greek uh, young uh, interior designer, and he's with us today. So Kyriakos, please uh, tell us a little bit about your story, about uh, everything that you want to say. Uh, hello from me as well, like um, Kyriakos Trikaliotis, like you already said, I'm an interior designer. Uh, I've been working as an interior designer since the last 15 years or so. And, you know, I'm trying to do my best and create like beautiful designs and obviously find like good people to cooperate and make th things happen, actually. That's fantastic. And where are you located right now? At the moment, I live in Athens. Fantastic, in Athens. So I'm in Larissa, so we are in the <laughs> same country. But we are speaking yeah. uh, in, in English uh, on behalf of our friends that they are interested in listening to our interview. So, mm -hmm. uh, Kyriakos, um, you have been also in Germany. You have a lot of like experience. Uh, you did also for, as we know, from um, uh, globally uh, interior designing. And also you are employing a lot with the CGI, with the 3D. So what is your best interest to do like interior designing or like uh, 3D? Uh, to me, like, actually, it's a field that, to be honest, I like both. Mm -hmm. I like to be, like, um, uh, aware and follow all the new uh, styles and what's going on at the moment, like, in our field. And I really prefer, like, also, like, I love to do interior designing because it gives me another kind of push. Mm -hmm. But also, like, I really love when I cooperate with CGI artists and... We do some renders and, you know, to meet the criteria for our clients as well. And so it's interesting for you and you think that it's like, um, like important for you to do also the interior designing and also the CGI together for your project of interior designing? Or you think... Yeah, when necessary, I like that. Yeah. 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 Often I do that. Like sometimes it just gives me some... Uh, like rough like floor plans and i have mm -hmm. to create the idea behind it as well not mm -hmm. just the 3d renders great and what is like your your path uh, with the cgi software which started you modeling which started you rendering how it's now how is the situation what was like i mean what yeah what, what yeah. was the way the path that you followed to the cgi the software the modeling the rendering mm -hmm. Uh, maybe you can call me old school, but like my, my style, like I, I was working always with Archicad to create the model. And then I was using Artlandis and Artlandis, at the yeah. end, like, yeah, yeah. And at the end, I just use Photoshop, like mm -hmm. to do some final, like retouches. Yeah. yeah. But like, uh, the artists that I work the, and I cooperate the most of the times, as you already know, they use like V-Ray, 3DS. Corona as well, yeah, yeah. and obviously we know the results are they're way better. Yeah, and do you have some experience with uh, V-Ray or Corona? I uh, no, no. I have okay. to be honest. So no, you are no. like like a stable like fan follower of Artlandis. Am I correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course. It's like you know, <laughs> it's like I feel intimate. That's it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, if it's intimate, then I can I can understand that. Uh, the whole process can be like um, touching. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. I mean, yeah. of course, you can always like, yeah, uh, progress and find like new ways to do your renders. To be honest, I really want to check Twin Motion because mm -hmm. I find it interesting as well mm -hmm. for many reasons. Mm -hmm. But let's see what the future will bring to us. Of course. And you start, of course, you are doing the modeling currently in Archicad, or did you select like a 3 Max or something different? Uh, still in Archicad. In I Archicad. always do that in Archicad. Okay. Uh, my first experience with Archicad was like 2009 when I started uh, like in a company working. Uh, it is the Gagos uh, design and construction, the known uh, interior designer that now has a really great company with amazing uh, projects. And then I started modeling with Archicad. So uh, the Archicad, like Archicad 9, Archicad, something like Archicad 9, it was before like 2010, 2009. So uh, probably now uh, the Archicad has like 
um, increased a lot. Everything, everything, all the information. So, can you can you just mention some of your experiences during all of those years using Archicad? I mean, like, yeah, it's like I think it's one of the best architectural like softwares at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, I know, like in Europe, we use mainly Archicad, and in <coughs> the States, they use Revit. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think Archicad has all the details and can really help you like to create like proper floor plans, uh, like really good 2D presentations uh, mm -hmm. when it's needed. Uh, there, there are a lot, a lot of options there. Like it's really helpful. Like it's al almost like everything. It's automated nowadays. Yeah, it's yeah. really helpful. Like we don't really have to think that much and lose time, especially mm -hmm. when we need to meet deadlines. Yeah. So I think like we met back in the days, like we were using the software. So I think at the same time, and now we're reaching like Archicad 25, and I think <laughs> it's a beautiful software to work yeah. with. Yeah, and sometimes some years ago that I was using it also, I noticed that they had their own separate uh, rendering engine that I suppose that they borrowed from the cinema, correct? Or, or I think so too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. I think so too. Uh, did you to be honest, I, no, I, I never really used it because, like I said, like I felt more comfortable to use my own way, but I think it's also good enough to do some like, you know, decent renders and reach a point that you can present that to your clients. Great. So when you are like a self-employed, like a person that likes doing interior designing, also rendering, probably somehow you have to market yourself, okay? To do some kind mm -hmm. of marketing, to find a new ways, how to approach people. What is like your favorite way that you, you see that always uh, it, it's making profit, you know, you find new clients. What is this marketing method that you want to share with us today? and to give uh, let's say uh, examples like uh, also um advices to the people to the 3d artists out there that they want like to take your advice or to to incorporate it to find new clients what could be this i mean yeah nowadays like social media they help a lot for sure and you can be global in that way so uh i used to like and i still doing that as, uh, every single day almost like i try to post at least one or two posts per day that includes architecture and things that i like and i appreciate in designing and instagram is helping a lot as well mm -hmm. so facebook and instagram it's really helpful to me i used also like other kind of platforms uh if it's not a problem to say like upwork.com it's yeah. one of the good ones that i got yeah. some like some projects yeah. as well so mainly those those three things i those think three things, and yeah. and i still like to doing old school but okay mm -hmm. that's not global that is so really helpful like in your area but mm -hmm. i like to be around talk with people mm -hmm. uh, let them know that i'm around they can uh, you know they can like count on me and yeah. yeah that's that's one of the ways actually to remind people that you exist for sure it's helping a lot yes i know uh Kiriakos, that you are a very social and uh, cheerful <laughs> person so i think that uh, of course of course the, the social media global can be like a game player but um i think that people like you with charisma in the social i think that like door to door or like uh, voice to voice it can be really uh, an alternative <clears throat> that was existing in the past, uh, really before social media. But now sure. people like you really can benefit uh, from uh, the partnerships so as to uh, find jobs, to find clients and so on. Correct? Yeah, yeah, for so, sure. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So, 100%, we see, so we see we have like the introverts sometimes or uh, introverts and, and extroverts that they are trying a lot to to hide from the computer but also this is making a lot of money but also there are the people like you that uh, with the extrovertical uh, um, charismatic person they can easily find some clients they can uh, go to the meetings let's say some meetings from the technical uh, like institute of uh, engineers and architects who can find like uh, clients who can give all cards and so on so yeah yeah this is a great method and if we could say that you sometimes used email to approach clients either in Greek, Greece or globally. Often. What kind of title did you use most of the times that you saw, you noticed that it's opening 
there is like a movement, something replies. What was this title you want to share with uh, our audience? For me, it was very simple and very direct. Like I always used to title my emails, 3D render sample pack, easy okay. like that. And then okay. I just introduce myself and my team, what we're capable to do and what we offer for them as well and how we can help them. For example, like when I spoke with a lot of uh, uh, engineers as well, like one of the best lines that I use is actually that uh, me and my team, we actually try to help you to sell your properties uh, from the designs before mm -hmm. you even like drop one, you know, uh, Dash of cement, like mm -hmm. so you can sell your properties, yeah, and yeah. at the same time, it's like your buyer is your founder as well. Like, yeah, so you get some funds, and yeah, you can yeah. proceed easily yeah. to build. So, when you like gaze uh, at the future, um, how do you imagine um, finding new clients? How do you imagine the business model? Because in some discussion of us, uh, you mentioned that you want to like establish a similar model business model to my so probably mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you are like um, want to like uh, create some company that will have some specifications would you like to share some two three tips about uh, how your future business model can impact your life and the life of other people I mean, like you just said, and like we spoke in the past, like I really admire what you do, and I think you're really great on what you do. Thank you. And I learn a lot, you know, like we can always learn from each other, like uh, I think from every single person in our lives, I mm -hmm. think that for sure. So at the moment, let's say that I'm doing baby steps, but I'm trying to have like stable steps. So mm -hmm. I, I rather to make one small step than going backwards. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like I would love to create a company that slowly it's going to be established mm -hmm. and we're going to create a model that we can offer like to clients, like full services and mm -hmm. availability and mm -hmm. results, of course. Okay. Um, Yeah, one one of the the things that I really I really think it's important is to be present all the time mm -hmm. and follow the needs of your clients. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I have so much to say, but I'd like to build something that is gonna last, and it's gonna create like credibility and mm -hmm. let's let's call it even when sometimes it feels so far, it's gonna be more direct, okay, in a way, so we can communicate well. So would you think that like a business model depending on the commission and on partnerships, would do you think that nowadays more than ever in the online businesses and not only uh, the partnerships are working better than having employees? Uh, way better, way yeah. better. And what do you think? Sure. Why do you think so? For sure. Uh, because like, you know, it's a cliche, but you know, <laughs> one, one, one brain, okay, it's good enough, but two brains are better for sure yeah. so yeah. if you multiply that the results they're going to be way way better this is a great for sure. this I, is great I love fun. teamwork and mm -hmm. yeah i love to share and i like you know to get that feedback you know when yeah. you talk with someone and you exchange ideas for sure yeah so when we are like um involving ourselves in partnerships that of course uh, we need uh, like leadership skills um of course, we need uh, like a variety of skills because um, a CEO or a, or a co-founder or an owner should always have like multiple kinds of uh, skills like um, leadership, uh, like mindset, like emotional stability, like taking calculated risks and many, many other. And of course, it has to be like charismatic, but a business owner not always uh, has to have everything because the best is to, I suppose, and you can tell me, that always has to make one step in front, two steps in front, maybe sometimes he, he will fall down, maybe he will rise up, but always this that we learn when we have a setback is like the, the, the evolution so we can climb another step, another step to the top. What do you think? I couldn't agree more to be honest. And if I could add something, it's like, and it's really important to know when you can take a step back 
mm -hmm. and yeah. clear your head so you can see things that you won't be able to see when you're getting too close. So what you just said, I think it's like the best way to put it down for sure. So let's tell it that we have to have the light, but we have to have the darkness because when we see outside, there is the light. But if it will be only light, we could never sleep and we will become overburned. So the night outside is beneficial. So I suppose, as you mentioned, it is great that uh, when a person has joyful, is good, has meetings, he has to have also has to have also um, his darkness time. Maybe he will be moody. Maybe he will want to isolate himself so as to have his own self talk to to like to 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 contribute to his thoughts, everything mm -hmm. that happened mm -hmm. during this day. So um, let's make a recap about uh, our meeting today with interview with Kiriakos. Uh, Kiriakos mentioned that he's an interior designer and he's doing renderings and that uh, he loves to work with Archicad and Atlantis. Additionally, uh, he likes uh, to build like a business model that is depending, of course, many times uh, on face-to-face uh, -face and talk-to-talk uh, -to -talk, um, like model because he has the charisma. So with this, we can like extract that in the today's, nowadays, we have the social media, but it's visible from the paradigm of Kyriakos that always, always people with communicating skills, they can win interpersonally um, relationships and partnerships. So always be aware people that not only having uh, computer skills or uh, CGI skills or marketing skills, you need to have also social skills and this is what we call, this that we call like uh, persona skills or charisma. So Kiriako, would you like to tell something else before we cap? Yeah, like the only thing I wanted I wanted to add because of your last phrase you said, it's like I think Edgar Allan Poe said like to appreciate light, you have to go through the darkness first. And I, I, I guess like my my last word will be like alone, you can do great, but together we can do magic. So yeah, this that's is how I, correct. I, yeah, absolutely correct. So from me, Christos, and uh, from Kyriakos, uh, we are very glad and we hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.